Hey guys, Skillon Noodle here. In my last video on creating spaceships in Blender, I got an amazing reaction from viewers and saw how much people wanted to see more tutorials like it in Blender. However, the thing I took away from that video was more of a learning experience. Upon reviewing the final result of my weeks of work, I felt disappointed. The textures didn't feel real or even cohesive with the model they were on. There were some topology issues and honestly some design theory issues too. So I decided to revisit my workflow and create a new spaceship tutorial. If you want to download this model to use in your Blender artwork, make sure to check out my Patreon. There you'll find this spaceship asset along with many other scenes and objects and things you can use in your artwork. Link is in the description to become a patron. Now with no more hesitation, let's get right into the tutorial. Now, it might be tempting to jump right in and start creating, but hold your horses. You're going to need some reference first. I ended up finding these two artworks on ArtStation and decided they would be the core of my reference. Some good resources for reference images are ArtStation, Pinterest, and Instagram. But hey, it's just for you to pull inspiration from, so Google Images doesn't hurt either. Now opening up Blender, I started off modeling by adding some basic shapes to sketch out the overall form of the ship. I added some simple modifications to this shape in edit mode, but I tried to steer away from getting too detailed in this stage. I used beveling in edit mode to give the nose of the ship the same rounded form as the engines, creating an overall design scheme I would try to follow. Before you move on to the more serious stages of your design, make sure the piece feels balanced in the stage before moving ahead. Moving on to secondary details, I continued adding simple objects, resizing things, and adding a cockpit to fill out the overall form. Now to move on to the final details of modeling, I started using modifiers like solidify and bevel to add more complexity to my base shapes. I also started adding small shapes all over the form as extruding objects. We call these small details greebles for short. When creating greebles, think about their function or how they aid the overall form. And to save time, duplicate and move greebles to other places, reshaping and sizing as needed. Another technique I used for adding detail was using booleans. Cutting from my larger and simpler forms, I was able to create more complex shapes and make the ship have more of a manufactured feel. Cutter booleans are not by default built into Blender through automatic tools, but there are tons of free and paid solutions to this problem, and I decided to go with the free bool tools add-on, link in the description below. While modeling and before moving on to the next stage, make sure not to apply any of the modifiers or try to compress your model down. We're going to need to do retopology before we do anything else. To start off, duplicate everything that makes up your model and move that to another hidden layer. Now with the unhidden model, take off or apply all the modifiers you need to keep. After that, fix any issues you find on the model and make sure detail level is even and as low as possible without distorting the shapes of the overall form. And that leads us to UV unwrapping part that everyone hates. But don't fret, there are tools at hand that will help you. Firstly, mark edges around hard corners. If something loops around, add a cut so it can be laid out like a strip. To be able to see your cuts, open the UV image editor in another window to the side and have your UV map showing. You can turn on the view stretch feature, and now you can see that blue, green, and yellow indicates where you might have stretching. After you finish UV unwrapping, merge all the objects together and make one UV map. In Blender, I only baked out a color ID map, as the normal map was giving me problems. I exported out of Blender FBXs of my high poly and low poly models, and then I opened them up in Adobe Painter. Bringing in my low poly mesh, I used my high poly mesh to bake my normals, heights, and other maps, and began adding smart materials. I'm not going to go too deep into this because I'm definitely nowhere near proficient in this software, but there are some awesome tutorials out there, and I linked a few of my favorites below. I also made a custom graphic in Photoshop and added it as a stencil on the side of my ship. I added some wear to the stencil to make it feel more a part of the ship's material, and I brought everything back into Blender. I applied all my maps, and I was able to call the ship complete. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more Blender tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell. And if you want to download this ship, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching.